Hi, welcome back to the studio. Today I want to do something new for the YouTube channel and that I've only done a few times in real life and that is oil and cold wax painting. I use it as usual for abstract work but you can do impressionistic and more realistic paintings with it. What I love about cold wax and oil is the same thing I love about encaustic painting and that is layering. Same thing I love about collaging, layering. The more layers and the more you can see what was hidden beneath, the better. As I mentioned, what I really like about oil and cold wax is the ability to layer. This piece started with a collaged paper with a piece of um, sewing pattern on top and then some modeling paste done through a piece of sequin waste and then on top of that I put a little bit of more paper and a little bit of uh, watercolor let that dry and then I layered on the oil and cold wax this piece started exactly the same way until the watercolor phase, no watercolor. And then I layered on cold wax and oil. I just love this medium. And then this is a piece I started for this video and forgot to record. It's not completed, um, but it is dry. So what I did here is you can see how translucent the paint is when it's mixed with this medium and how you can see lines that show up through previous layers. Now let's talk about tools and supplies. First thing I want to talk about is our tools. We have two kinds of tools that we use with cold wax. One kind, whoops, to smooth on the wax. And the other kind to make marks in the wax. For smoothing tools we have brayers catalyst wedges. Love these. Um, some other kind of silicone wedge. Bowl scraper. You know, if you cook, this is, or bake, this is the side you use to scrape out the bowl, but I don't bake. I just buy baking supplies. The other thing you're going to want is palette knives of all sizes. Um, putty knives of various sizes. Oops. And silicone brushes. These are a little softer than the catalyst wedge. These are great. So that's what you're wanna, gonna wanna use to make the paint smooth. I use a lot of these with acrylic paints as well. But then the fun stuff begins, and that's the mark making tools. Um, I have a little brayer that has texture. I have uh, these two clay making tools, which I also use in encaustic. Then I have catalyst wedges with edge details. Whoops, and a hair. All of these have to make different designs. I use those with acrylics. These are um, by Jelly. They're made to go with uh, the Jelly print things, but they work great. Also use those with acrylics, as I said, with jellies. And there's these fun, fun quasi palette knives that all make different marks. A dental pick. And um, they're called shapers. They move the paper paint around. They've got a very, very hard um, silicone tip. I also use those with acrylic. 
and then you can just use cheap plastic combs from the dollar store. And the last tool you're going to want, though I have to confess I've never used it yet, is paintbrushes. So the first supply you're going to want with oil and cold wax is a big old bucket of cold wax medium. This helps with the drying time on your oil paints and with the transparency. You mix it with Galkid Gel. This helps it be even more smooth and dry even faster. So you're looking at more of a 24 hour dry time depending on how thin or thick you make it and um, you mix 25% of this with 75% of this and then you mix this half and half with your oil paint so one some other things you're going to need is a key to open the can and a cleaner I love Citrusol it's all natural I use it in art as well uh, and it has actually gone so far as to take oil paint out of my clothes. Then we have substrates. Because of the wax, it needs a more sturdy substrate. Um, you can do it on Arches oil paper, which comes in pads or rolls or just humongous sheets. But um, when you're working with that, you need to have it mounted to a board of some kind. So the last thing we need are oil pastels, oil sticks by Shiva or um, Windsor and Newton or RNF. I don't see my RNFs. And then you yeah. can also, because of the wax, you can mix the wax medium with pigment powders, including chalk, uh, charcoal that you scrape off a stick, and soft pastels, including pan pastels, m pigment powders like mica powders, and you can also write over them with a Stabilo or a Conti. So that's it for this video. In the next video, We'll start a painting. Thanks for watching my video. Please leave it any questions or comments you might have and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you'll subscribe. Thanks again. Bye.